Hey everyone, sorry for the wait. Uh, we had some technical difficulties with our last video, but today we're finally bringing to you guys a brand new episode of our infamous Cast Tanks tutorial. And today we're showing you guys how you guys can achieve the front lever. So today we're gonna show you guys the progressions that are necessary to achieve a full front lever. Uh, we're gonna start by showing you guys the tucked front lever, then we're gonna move into the advanced tuck front lever. We'll show you guys the straddle front lever and then what a full uh, front lever looks like. Also, we're going to go over some supplementary exercises like the back lever and uh, front lever uh, tucked pull-ups that will help you strengthen your front lever. Definitely. And also, you guys should keep in mind the, the front lever is actually the reverse part of doing the planche. So if you guys haven't watched our previous planche tutorial, click the video that is right here. And also, it is really helpful to uh, start working towards both exercises at the same time. So you guys should definitely keep that in mind. And without further ado, let's get to the front lever tutorial. Alright guys, so let's get right to it. So the first step towards achieving the front lever would be the tuck front lever. So Christian here is going to uh, show me, a beginner, on how you guys can also start working towards this exercise. Let's get to it. Alright Christian, so let's get right to the tuck lever. Cool. So yeah, go ahead and grab the bar, shoulder uh -huh. width apart. Okay. So about there is good, yeah. Uh -huh. um, go ahead and hang, hang from the bar. Okay. And you're going to want to rotate your body backwards. All right. Bring your knees up to your chest. Okay. And you're going to round out your back right here. Yeah, okay. lower your hips just a little bit right there. And then just keep your elbows locked out. Oh man. That's the spot you want to be in. And how long do I have to hold this? The goal is uh, 60 seconds. 60 seconds? 60 seconds. If you can Jesus. only do uh, like 20 seconds, Okay. you want to do three sets of 20 seconds. Three sets of 20. So the goal is to do 60 seconds? Every day. Every day. Every day okay. uh, until you can hold a consecutive 60 seconds. All right. So guys, it looks easy, but it is definitely hard. So you guys should definitely work out a lot for this one. So this is the first step towards achieving the full front lever. Whew, so that was pretty tiring. So after being able to do 60 seconds of the normal tuck lever, the next step, the sec step two would be the advanced tuck front lever. So Christian, what is that advanced tuck front lever? So the main thing with this progression is um, going from the, the tuck front lever to the advanced tuck front lever is you want to lower your hips and flatten out your back as opposed to having a very round, more hollow back with the uh, the front lever uh, position. So advanced uh, tuck front lever, you're just, you're just flattening out the back and lowering the hips. All right guys, make sure you guys get down a minute on the normal front lever before achieving this. So let's see Christian demonstrating the advanced front tuck lever. All right, so again, our front lever tuck about right here and then with the advanced tuck we're just going to lower the hips and flatten the back so about right there here's the front lever tuck and the advanced tuck just a subtle change in position is the difference all right guys now that you guys can hold 45 to a minute on the advanced tuck front lever, the next step would be doing the single leg out front lever. So Christian, can you explain the single leg out front lever? So front, leg, uh, front lever with the one leg extended, same thing as um, the advanced tuck front lever. Uh, your, you know, your hips and your back are going to be completely flat, you know, as opposed to a round, more hollow back position like with the beginning progression, the front lever tuck. So um, again, just, you know, elbows uh, locked out. Um, back flat, hips aligned with the back, and then we're just going to extend one leg. It is going to take a long time to actually start doing the advanced front tuck lever and getting the single leg out, so make sure you guys uh, have the 45 seconds to a minute down on the advanced front tuck lever before starting the single leg out. So let's see Christian demonstrating the single leg out uh, front lever. All right, so first step for this one, we're going to go into a advanced tuck front lever. So right about here, then extend one leg out, just like that. Then make sure when you guys are doing this one to alternate, you know, between both legs, don't do the same leg every time. All right guys, so the next step after being able to hold 45 seconds of the single leg front lever would be the straddle front lever. So Christian, what is the straddle front lever? So uh, front lever straddle position, um, same thing as with the other progressions, doing the front lever, you want to make sure your elbows are locked out and your back is going to be flat. Hips are going to be aligned with your back and you're going to straddle, you're going to split both legs 
in front of you. All right, guys, do you guys see a deja vu? This is actually the same as planche, uh, straddle planche. So it, 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 again, there are the same steps. So let's see Christian doing the straddle front lever. Check it out. All right, so for the straddle front lever, we're gonna go back into front lever with one leg out. Then you're going to extend the second leg and straddle both of them in front of you. All right, guys, so now that you guys can hold 30 seconds of the straddle front lever, the last step would be finally achieving the full front lever. So Christian here is gonna show how an expert uh, demonstrate the front lever. All right, and so the final uh, progression, the full front lever should look like this. Just make sure the elbows are fully locked out and uh, it's all core strength. So this is really good for, you know, it's a compound uh, hold, static hold, strengthens your joints, your elbows, your shoulders lats, and uh, again, it's all core. All right, guys, so that was our tutorial for how to achieve the front lever. If you guys liked the video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And also, if you, have, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or anything, please leave it on the comment section down below, because uh, Christian and me, we spend a lot of time every day just uh, regarding to comments and questions and we really want to connect with you guys. So definitely do leave a comment on the comment section below. And also make sure to uh, follow my Instagram. It's at Captain underscore Hanks. Yeah, and also if you guys haven't watched our previous uh, calisthenic tutorial on how to achieve the muscle up, please click the video that is right here. And uh, another video too you guys should check out if you haven't seen it already, uh, calisthenics, expectations versus reality. You can click on the link right here. Yeah, so uh, thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye-bye.